In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Smobu. So Smobu is an all-in-one software for short-term and vacation rentals, and it integrates with Booking.com, Airbnb, Agoda, and more. Now, in order to get started, just head over to Smobu.com and simply enter your email address here, and then you can start a free trial on the pro plan for 14 days, no credit card required. Now, as you can see, you can instantly sync all your booking portals automatically. So I'll just enter my email address and click start free trial right now. Now from here, enter your first name and optionally your last name, then your email address again, your password, the prefix of your phone number and your actual phone number, and then click start free trial. So then you will need to verify your email address. So simply open up your email and click on the verification button. Now here you can see the overview of the process. So you need to first create or import accommodations. So you can simply import them from Airbnb, then connect your portals and that's it. Enjoy a stress-free hosting experience. So just click continue and then you will go through their onboarding. So first, what are your main interests when using Smogo? So this is everything you can use it for. So avoiding double bookings, creating your own website, managing guest communications, managing all your portals from one central point. For example, if you have a lot of different Airbnb, Booking.com and other accounts, then it can be helpful to have it all integrated into just Smogu. Having your own booking system, viewing statistics, creating guest guides or other. I will go with the guest guide statistics and managing all my portals from one central point and click continue. Then you ask how many properties do you have? So for example, five and in which currency do you set your prices? For example, I will set it to the US dollar. So then click continue and then give your properties a name so that you can actually recognize which ones it are and then click continue. And then go and click continue to home and then it will say welcome we are happy to have you on board check the most relevant next steps now you can just close this and here you have a first things to do checklist so first you can connect your first portal to do this just click connect right here or click connect a new portal and then you can choose which portal you actually want to add so now here just click select portal and then you can pick any of these so you can see they do have a pretty huge list of them so just pick the one that you are using for example i will go with airbnb so then you can click add portal and now here you can see these steps. So you must connect with a main host account. So you cannot be a co-host of the account. Then in order to establish the connection, your listings must be set to listed on Airbnb. If you are using smart prices, Airbnb will set your prices back to the base price. And if you are using rule sets, please note these will be cleared from your Airbnb calendar. Now with the instructions here, just click connect accounts then you will be redirected. Click on not connected and match the accommodation to the corresponding Airbnb listing. So you can see your accommodations right here. And then again, you can just connect them to the corresponding Airbnb listings. So just click connect accounts right there. That's going to take you to Airbnb where you can then just sign into your account. And then after you connect that in your settings right here, you can go to your booking portals and then you can see Airbnb right there. You can also edit it from here. So you can just connect the accounts right there. And now you have successfully connected this booking. Now in the top left on pretty much any screen, you have the enter booking section right here. If you click on that, you can manually add a booking for a specific accommodation. And after you have connected it to your Airbnb or booking.com or wherever your property is hosted, it will then also sync there so that the property will then not be bookable for that specific time frame. Now, after doing this, so connecting your first portal, if you have more than one portal, you can then here go to connect on the second portal and then just go through the same steps. So select what kind of portal it is. For example, if this one is booking.com, then I can just select that from here and then click add portal. And then again, you can see these steps right here and then you will need to enter your property ID or your hotel ID right here and click save. But just go and follow these steps right here. Now they also have a tutorial video on each of the portals that you can just follow if you cannot figure it out. Now in the left section here of Smogu, we have different sections. So it starts with the home screen where you have the checkup list, but you also have upcoming events. 
and here you have your calendar where you can see what is being booked and basically when everything is booked then in the pricing you can set the pricing for everything then in bookings you can see all of the previous bookings that have been done and you can also export it from there if you want and your messages right here then you have your contacts so you can add new guests in here and your statistics and you can see revenue bookings your cancellations over a specific time frame or for just a specific property right here for example only this one and then you can see the occupancy rate the occupancy and revenue and it's just a really good statistics overview now if you go to settings right here you can actually set up a guest guide which can be very helpful to do so if you click on guest guide from here you can create a platform where people can basically go through kind of a guide where they see how they can check into the property how everything works and stuff like that and it can be very time saving and just helpful to have so you can see the features that you want to include so for example tours weather review online check-in all of this right here and then here you can click content and they can add in content for the guide so they have different templates here such as parking wi-fi house rules so for example wi-fi you can pick and then click use select the template and then here you can just enter the username and password of your wi-fi and if it has a specific arrival and departure date you can enter that as well now you will see they have really good templates for all of this so i'll just show you one more for example the house rules so if you select the house rules you can see they have this entire template created for you so treat their house with same respect as you would your own home maintain a good level of cleanliness throughout your stay in case of any accidental damage we'll look into the issue etc now, of course you can also write your own things right here so you can just create your own bullet right there and then just write whatever you want to add as well and they also have a bunch of icons right here that you can add into your guide if you would like to now after you're done you can then click save and now you have created this kind of guest guide now if you click preview right there you will then be able to see it now you will only be able to share this with your guests once they have been booked in on Smogu. Now you don't need to enter every booking automatically. That's why you have connected it to Airbnb or whatever other portal you use. And then it will just be synced right here automatically. And then you can actually send the guide to them. Now you can also set up your online check-in, communications. You have your accounts so you can add a profile picture. You can add permissions. You can set up invoice settings right here and you can even create your own website right here which will be your booking website. They also have their own booking system, a website calendar, integrations and partnerships as for developers but for example the website builder you can see kind of what it looks like right here. For example here you have the website content so a description house rules stuff like that now the website is not going to be very customizable but it will be good enough in order to show people your properties and accommodations so in the accommodation section right here you can see all the properties and then in details and photos you can then add the price per night the address marketing title website calendar stuff like that right here so after you're done with creating everything, you can then make it enabled and preview your actual website. So this is now your website. Now as you can see, it's not finished yet because it doesn't have anything in it, but it kind of looks like the booking.com website where people can just enter their arrival and departure, amount of people, and then check availability. And then they will see all of your properties that are available during this period, along with the prices and the actual pictures of the property. And then they can send a request to you and you will then receive that request and you can then just book them in, send them an invoice, stuff like that. Now in the top left when you click subscribe you will see currently you're in a free trial now they have the basic plan then professional and pro plus now you can just pick whichever one you want and the professional plan is probably best for most people and this is for five properties at 65 euros per month but if you have more properties then you can still use the professional plan but it will just cost more you can see what is included here so the guest guide guest management so the crm online check-in statistics pricing all of that whereas in the basic plan you only have the pms which is the reservation system booking website and statistics so this can be helpful but if you want some more advanced features you will need to get the professional plan 
So that concludes this Smogu tutorial. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.